Well, hello everybody. It is Dennis and Andy, and we're back with a movie review in 10 minutes or less. A bite sized chunk, so you can just nibble on it when you're at work or wherever and get our thoughts on a movie. And Today's the movie. Is, you don't even have to go to the theater to see this one. That's right. You do need Amazon Prime because it's an Amazon Prime movie made just for them. It is. Shotgun Wedding. Dennis, tell us a little bit about Shotgun Wedding. Uh, the character revolves, um, the story revolves around uh, soon-to-be husband and wife. Jennifer Lopez is getting married, and she oh. plays Darcy, gets married to uh, Josh Demel, um, Tom, her soon-to-be husband. She wants a nice little wedding. He wants the perfect wedding. They're going to an island. They're bringing both families together and all mayhem lets loose. This movie, that's right, like Dennis said, he is, uh, Josh DeMello's character is literally considered a groomzilla. Usually it's a bridezilla, but no, he's a groomzilla. He wants the perfect wedding. It's a destination in the Philippines. Uh, let's just say, spoiler free, but there is a scene where J-Lo is wearing a uh, half shirt, t-shirt, and just her little panties, trying to entice him to bed. And he's like, hey, I got to finish the centerpieces for the table that he's making for the reception. And I'm looking at that going, you silly, silly man. You silly, but silly it, man. But the night before a wedding, and um, you're not supposed to do that. It's bad luck. And maybe that's why all mayhem lets loose, because it is bad luck. Now, this movie is filled with lots and lots of awesome uh, people showing up in there. Famous people that we're all excited to see. Lenny Kravitz in another movie where he has to take his shirt off, plays the uh, ex-boyfriend who comes to the island. Cheech Marin um, winds up playing dad. Jennifer Coolidge, a.k.a. Stifler's mom, as we all know her, you know, is mother or mother-in-law, depending on which side you're looking at. She it. is, she is just to clarify, she is uh, Josh Demel's mom. Cheech is Jennifer Lopez's dad, obviously, because you know what was going to happen. This movie does have tropes. He's divorced, dating a younger woman, younger than Jennifer Lopez, even. Because uh, Jennifer Lopez is 52. They don't say her age in the movie, but we know that. This actress is younger. He's dating. She's a yoga instructor or something. Darcy uh, Carden, her, which we would all know from The Good Place. She plays the robotic AI in The Good Place. And yep. she's really good, too. And who's the actress that plays the mother, J-Lo's mom? Um, Sonia Braga. So, yes. um, yeah, she plays uh, Jennifer Lopez's mother. And... There's not a lot of love lost between the two sides of the families, why they're there. I mean, this has all the makings of a wedding that's going off the rails. And it does. As you can tell by the trailer, the wedding does not seem to go well when pirates arrive and things pirates. go badly. Pirates arrive. This is the area of the world where shit like that can happen. So these pirates arrive at the wedding and take everybody hostage. But luckily, and this is all trailer stuff, luckily uh, J-Lo and her husband-to-be, Josh Damal, do not or are not gathered with the rest of the guests and wedding party at the time, which allows them to basically get away and try and be the heroes of the movie. There are definitely um, a lot of funny moments in the movie. Uh, the one thing I told Dennis I liked was, uh, I like uh, J-Lo. Um, <clears throat> I do like her singing, but 
What I'm not a huge fan of is, you know, I get it when she's doing concerts and stuff. She has to be all made up, makeup, outfits, whatever. <clears throat> but she just doesn't seem realistic. But in this movie, she's she, she just comes across as a really realistic, down-to-earth person. She, her and Josh both have good chemistry on screen. They, they just, they really just come across as a ordinary couple just trying to have a nice wedding. Uh, they're not, you know, rich. They're not really highfalutin or anything. You know, J-Lo's dad, Cheech, has money and stuff, but it's not like it's worked its way down to her. It doesn't seem that way. Um, and I thought their performances were were really good, really grounded. Um, of course, as the movie goes on during the hostage situation, you know, things come out between the couple. Uh, and, and obviously this is a comedy, so it is over the top. There are definitely scenes in the movie where you're like, really? But it's that type of comedy. It's not the type of comedy where... Uh, I guess you could call it more realistic comedy where you get laughs, but it's all, you know, it's realistic stuff that you believe could happen. Not in this movie so much, but that's okay. You're along for the ride. Unlike you people who I said their performance was Ugh. among the worst. There was no chemistry. It wasn't believable. Jennifer and Josh, their marriage, their, their relationship seems real. The chemistry is there. And I agree with you. Jennifer Lopez has a very natural beauty. When she yeah. isn't all dolled up, she is just a strikingly beautiful person. She comes across as a bride who just wants to be a bride. And Josh, of course, is the one trying to please everything and make it perfect and ruining it. So you're right. The, rever the, the roles are reversed. But the chemistry, um, Jennifer Coolidge, her one-liners oh. and her comedic timing are she to me she stole the entire movie she was the best part we laughed far more than i was anticipated for a prime there, movie i will this was a a blast of refreshness what there was a scene in the trailer so it's not a spoiler where all the hostages are told to walk into this pool that's only like three feet deep so obviously it's not a deep pool so they're all in the pool and one of the hostage uh, takers, the pirates, is like, where's, uh, I think his name was Robert. He's like, where's Robert? Where's Robert? And, uh, and Jennifer Coolidge and Robert is Cheech, the father of the bride. And Jennifer Coolidge, the father or the, the mother of uh, the groom, looks over and goes, Robert, they're talking about you. <laughs> and Cheech is just like, like thank you, Carol. Ugh. Thank you. Thank I, you, Carol. I really appreciate Thank that. You. Twice. Yeah. And it was just, it was just great. It was, <laughs> there, there's a lot of physical comedy in this as well. Yes. And you can tell there was some, some good choreographed fight scenes. Jennifer Lopez does a good job fighting. So does Josh. She is not very fond of blood, which will come in multiple times throughout <laughs> the movie. And uh, he doesn't like heights. So I share Tom's disdain of height so there were a lot of really funny moments with this like i said for me this was a surprise movie um it's not a grand slam in any shape of the imagination but it was a solid uh instead of a single i'm going to give it a double in baseball terms I, it was better than i expected all right, I'll rate this one first. I'm going to give this one... I, I really did enjoy this movie. I'm actually... And because it was on Amazon Prime, didn't have to go anywhere. I'm going with a flat-up 8.0. Uh, I think it's a fun movie for the whole family. My wife and I watched it. Uh, now, it is rated R, I believe. If I counted yeah. F-bombs. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's rated R just for language. Even the violence isn't that bad. And there's no sex scenes or anything like that. No nudity. Uh, they just want to be able to drop more than one F-bomb. So I, I'm, I'm an 8.0. Right. I was going to say, that other than the F-bombs, this should have been a PG-13 movie, which they could yeah. have done. But I agree. I'm giving it a 7.5. I thought it was cute, adorable, funny. 
my wife and I both enjoyed it. My sister-in-law, we, she watched it with us. We really had some funny moments. You have to give up, you know, suspend the, uh, the believability a little bit on parts. But it was well worth it. It was good. If you're looking for something to do on a Sunday night, this might be what you watch. It was solid. And There you go, guys. That's uh, our review for you. Hold on. IMDb is giving it a 5.5. Five. I'm surprised. Ah. The critics are giving it a 45%. Ah. And the audience scores a 55 on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm a little well, surprised that they're under maybe, it. I liked it a little better than that. Maybe I'm biased because I got to see J-Lo on a tight half shirt and panties. That could be it. Could cloud my mind. Uh, well, let us know what you think. Yeah. Check it out. And uh, we'll catch you in another movie review soon. Bye, everybody. Oh, Cordrath, The Reckoning. Of course. Go get it. Link is in the description below. 76 pages, barbarian badassery, t-shirts, beanies, five different covers. Click the link. Go peruse for yourself. Bye-bye.